does it look like that that Q was perhaps used as a as a way to uh, to get into the into the the headspace of the deep state itself to sort of telegraph and see what they would do? Was it a, was it was it a useful tool to educate Trump supporters or those that didn't like what was going on uh, just as much as it was to a uh, bit of an art of war perhaps uh, to get into this head and to force mistakes? How do you read it now his, from a historical perspective, given that it started seven years ago? Yeah, I think uh, your analysis is spot on. Uh, I would say yes to all of your questions. Yes, the operation was uh, intended to get inside the heads of the deep state actors and to get them to make uh, blunders and missteps. Good example. You mentioned uh, that first post. And by the way, uh, for the record, a lot of people don't know this, that first post is on the board that says, uh, something like on October 30th at 8 a.m., Hillary Clinton is going to be arrested. Okay. That was not a post by Q. Wow. That, that was a post by an anonymous person on the board who was one of these people claiming to be an intelligence insider. They claim to have intelligence uh, saying that Hillary Clinton was going to be arrested on October 30th at this time. If you look at... Um, that post and look at the response to it, there's two different user ID numbers, meaning that those are two different people talking. So this anonymous person posted that message about Hillary being arrested. Q responded to that post and said, cross border check, uh, borders closed, uh, security measures in place to prevent uh, international flight and things of that nature. That was Q's response to that to, to that post that Hillary was going to be arrested, Q opened up a disinformation campaign based on that post by that other anonymous person. And what Q did for the next, well, until, uh, let's see, that was October 28th, until September 4th, Q continually posted threats and warnings about uh, John Podesta being arrested, Huma Abedin being arrested and indicted, uh, they're going to be charged and Hillary, you know, all this information about and and warnings about Hillary and her circle of people being indicted and arrested. During that same time, Q was also posting about corruption in Saudi Arabia and the Saudi royal family. And so what happened was um, there was a, there was a lot of focus and attention on Hillary and Podesta and Huma and their potential arrest. And on uh, on September 4th, when dozens of members of the Saudi royal family were arrested on corruption charges, people were shocked. They were like, wait a minute, like, hang, hang on a second. You were talking about Saudi Arabia in here as well over the last week. Was this a distraction of some kind to get attention off of people in Saudi Arabia and to maybe put the attention on um, American political figures. And that's exactly what Q did. Q created a disinformation operation intentionally to get people focusing on American political figures while an operation to arrest corrupt Saudi royal figures was being planned, right? So that's that's kind of how the whole Q operation started. And, and it's been that way for a long time. And as you said, you know, to get inside the heads of these people, to get them to make mistakes, make missteps. Q, anytime you see Q uh, in the post threatening the arrest of anyone as a prediction in time, someone so-and-so is going to be arrested this month or whatever, that that post is uh, intentionally disinformation. We learned this over time looking at these posts that all of the promises and threats of arrests and indictments were basically trying to get people to uh, make wrong moves Q um, didn't ever really intend to make any true predictions about arrests with predictions of dates and times. That was all sort of, it was all um, disinformation and distraction. What Q did to prove that he has, uh, has or had intelligence, real actionable intelligence, was set up these strange coincidences where you would look back at a post after something happened, after an arrest, after an event happened, 
can look back at the posts and go, wait a minute, wait a minute. When we look back at these posts from three or four weeks ago, that's what you were talking about. And, and Q would say, yes, do you think this is a coincidence? The posts were designed in such a way that you couldn't really see the predictive nature of them until after an event happened. And you'd look back at previous posts and go, oh, oh, now I get it. I Now I understand what Iron Eagle means, you know, or any of the other phrases that were used. So um, that's that's kind of my my take. I, I still believe that that's what Q's operation is all about. Uh, it and, and yes, to your other question, um, the point of Q's operation is to uncover evidence of corruption, help people like us learn how to dig and research corruption on our own, find open source information, um, connect the dots, put to put together the, the bad actors, figure out what they're doing, and then take that information and give it to our friends and relatives and, and whoever will listen to us. That those are the those are the two main points of the Q operation.